hey guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to show you guys how i got these um short fringe tip nails um i've been obsessed with fringe tips lately and i'm going to just go ahead and show you guys how i got these so uh keep on watching um anyways so right now i'm going to go ahead and put on these almond shaped nails that i purchased off of amazon um everything that i use in this video will be linked in the description box so that you can purchase it if you uh choose to um i'm gonna go ahead and use these nails and i'm gonna go ahead and cut them down to the length that i um want obviously you don't have to wear them as short as i am but i'm using these nails just because i don't really care for the shape honestly and i'm gonna be cutting them so yeah Also, I just wanted to mention to you guys, before I started putting on the press-on nails, I did go ahead and prep my nails before applying um, the press-ons. I went ahead, um, shaped my nails or filed them down to my desired shape. And then also I went ahead and cleaned up my cuticles and I roughened up my nail bed. That's why it looks that way. I uh, just wanted to let you guys know that, especially if you plan on wearing these for a while and you want them to last for a few weeks, you're going to want to make sure that you do manicure your nails first. Um, right here, you guys can kind of see it, but I'm cutting these down to my desired shape. And then I'm going to go ahead and use a, a nail file, the same one that I normally use, the Tropical Shine nail file that I purchased from Sally's. Um, I'm going to use this to get the desired shape that I want, and then I'm going to go ahead and follow that up with buffing out the nails or the ends of my nails to get the excess nail off. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and use this ASP gel polish. This one is Creme de la Creme. You guys know that I use this um, gel polish whenever I am gonna do a fringe tip or I want just a neutral or natural looking, I guess you can say base. I'm gonna go ahead and apply two um, coats of this and I'm gonna cure it for 60 seconds. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and use these nail stickers that I purchased off of Amazon. I'm going to go ahead and place them where I'd like them to be. You can make the um, fringe tip as wide as you want to, as thin as you want to. That's the beauty of these nail stickers. Again, I'll make sure that I link these down in the description box. Um, I did take my time doing these just because I didn't want them to obviously not look um, right. And for whatever reason, the thumb one was a little bit too, I guess, like small for whatever reason. I'm not sure why. But yeah, anyway, so I'm going to use this finger paint polish. This is not a gel polish. It's just a normal paint. So I just want to let you guys know that. You guys can get creative with this. Use whatever colors you want, obviously. Um, I wouldn't recommend um, using gel also when you do this just because um, from experience, when you do use these um, nail stickers and you use a gel polish, when you let it cure, it just pretty much lifts up the entire gel polish and it's just a mess. So it's recommended just to use a normal polish and then um, cure it at the um, end with a gel top coat, if that makes sense.
All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and pull off the nail stickers. I love how these come out. It's just so satisfying when I pull up the sticker and I see how perfect it comes out. I don't know if that's satisfying to you guys or not, but it's satisfying to me. <laughs> but anyways, yes, I'm gonna go ahead and pull the stickers off and then whatever nails I feel like need to be a little bit cleaned up, I'm gonna use some acetone to clean up the edges. Okay, now I'm gonna use this Orly Gel FX top coat. This is my first time actually using this top coat. Um, I purchased this from Sally's. I don't remember how much it was, but like I mentioned several times throughout the video, I will leave it in the description box. And I also will tell you guys in my next video if I do end up liking this top coat and how it works out. Anyways, I'm gonna apply one layer of this and I am gonna cure it for 60 seconds. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and use an alcohol pad and I'm gonna go ahead and clean off the tackiness from curing my nails. And then finally, I'm gonna go ahead and um, add some oil onto my cuticles. This is the California Mango Cuticle Oil. I purchased this from Sally's and you guys, it smells so good. So if you guys can get your hands on it, I definitely would. I'm gonna go ahead and apply this to this too. What am I saying? I'm gonna apply this to my cuticles and then I'm going to rub it in. All right, you guys, that's it. Make sure that you guys like, comment, and subscribe, and also turn on your notification bell. That way you don't miss any videos. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye.